So for this year, we've got a number of different discussion themes, and we've tried to pick out a number of themes that are really close to the board agenda. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking about maybe how businesses are affected uh, with their, their customers or their consumers, maybe their responsibility to the environment, uh, or actually their employees and the skill sets that are needed in the next few years, um, amongst many, many other things. We'll also be talking about ethics, etc. So we're really keen to understand how technology may impact on some of those areas and that what, that, what that means to businesses. Mm -hmm. Do you think kind of the scale of change and the speed of change is something that every organization should understand and, and, and assess? Yeah, I mean, it's quite clear now that I think if you don't understand that transformation is happening, you must have lived under a rock for the last 10 years, you know, because that's, that's the main topic now. The thing is that we're also now getting to a point to where it's quite clear that, that technology by itself isn't like a panacea or like a magic wand, you know. Uh, as I always like to say, Peter Drucker once said something very similar, that uh, culture is, eats technology for breakfast. <laughs> uh, so if your culture isn't there to support your tech, then you have nothing. You know? yeah. So you need to have a wider approach, like if you're going to use AI or the IoT to figure out what exactly to do with it, what the business model is, how it works for people, how it uh, gets people to be empowered rather than disempowered. Right? And the economic system is changing, so we're going away from this idea of, you know, as long as it makes money, it's good. And now it's about people, it's about, you know, humans, it's about the planet now, big discussion about sustainability, it's about purpose, or companies that don't have purpose are going away, yeah. right? And then it's also about prosperity. So it's, it's a much larger approach, and technology in itself, unlike five years ago, it's no longer like, you know, something you pull out like a magic rabbit and then it's soft, you know? It's actually part of a, of a larger discussion. And you think some of these, these new technologies that are coming through can really help some of the biggest challenges in the world today? Well, technology holds the answer for all the stuff that technology can do, you know, like water, energy, food, diseases, aging, yeah. you know, things that are of that nature. Yeah. Technology will not help us with social problems or political problems or conflicts or religion or whatever you want to call it. Those are human things, right? So we cannot use technology to solve political problems. And, uh, in fact, technology makes it worse, as we see in social media. Uh, it actually, because it's so efficient, if you want to pollute, pollute your environment or, or manipulate, you can use technology really nicely for that too, right? So technology is good for those things that, uh, are, that are about data, information, and efficiency, and it's not so good to be used for uh, you know, human decisions and societal issues. You know, we have to use technology to, as a tool. You know. Okay, so um, and this year, so you're going to come to the Home of Concord, probably your first trip to the museum in, in Bristol. It's going to be a great location, and so, you know, we're really lucky to have that as a backdrop. Um, but some pretty cool stuff happening within Bristol, within the Southwest region. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts about coming to Bristol and the Southwest and actually meeting a load of business leaders and presenting in front of that iconic backdrop that we've got there within the city? Yeah, I, I, I think it's exciting because you know the UK has a history of, of doing the sort of local places that are erupting in, in innovation in different ways, unlike for example Germany where it's mostly either one place or all of Germany. Right? Uh, in Switzerland we have that usually goes with the university where I live, uh, ETH and EPFL. But, uh, it seems to me that that's a hotspot of new ideas, uh, and now I think the challenge is to take that idea and grow it into something that can be larger, you know, not necessarily a unicorn or so, but that can spread out into becoming a big driver of change. Yeah. So I look forward to the, to the discussion there.